guys! I had so much fun the other day with the live action spraying and taking you through the day of um, Soleil Blanc. So I've decided to do another one. And today I'm going to be spraying Nobile 1948 Casta Diva. And I ordered, uh, or I say I ordered, I um, received this decant from Shashi or Sarah. Um, who was splitting some of her bottle and I was sold on the fact that it's got frangipani in it. I don't recall any of the other notes and I have tried it obviously but not actually giving it a full wearing. So I'm going to give you some live action spraying right now. So there's two, one on the wrist, one on the elbow, same for the other side, that's four and then I'm only going to do two on my neck. I'll tell you why, because it's really strong and I'm actually <laughs> I'm not loving the opening. Um I smell something like lily or not tuberose, but something for me that I don't love in the opening. Now I know that when it dries down a bit that definitely subsides, but to me it smells like I've just sprayed a lily centric fragrance and um, I'm not a lover but in about 10 minutes or so this will be a lot more wearable and then I'll see how it goes throughout the day and whether or not I fall in love with it but at the moment the, whatever that is if it is Lily dominates everything and I find that maybe it's my nose and the way it interprets but I don't fucking like Lily so anyway I'm going to come back to you later on alright bye Hi again, so this is a little check in with you. I'm still wearing the Custer Diva. I've been wearing it now for about three hours. So we're three hours in. It's definitely not as overpowering as it was when I first sprayed it. That was chokingly overpowering, but that dies down in about 10 minutes. So that's gone, and now we are left with um, something that's projecting about so far from my. Um, from my body so um, I've got the notes on Fragrantica, Fragrantica as I like to call it and the notes are Osmanthus, Frangipani, Green Notes, Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, Vanilla, Amber, Musk and Oak Moss. Um, did I say, I said Jasmine didn't I, I think I missed out the other one, Neroli apparently as well. Anyway to my nose um, it's now much more wearable much softer it's kind of just like a floral it's just I don't know for me it's meh as people like to say meh um, it's floral yes maybe the tiniest tiniest bit of musk in there just smoothing it out not obvious um, yeah I can kind of tell that um, there's Frenchy Penny in there I wonder if Osmanthus, oh, dry throat, <coughs> if Osmanthus is the thing that dominates for me, and is Osmanthus the thing that pisses me off in there, I don't know, that lily-like fragrance, I need to um, try and figure out what Osmanthus smells like, um, and then decide, but anyway, for me, unfortunately, it's a pass on this one, um, so far that obviously longevity I've got three hours and I suspect I'm going to get a good uh, three or four more um, as I say projection is acceptable like you know um, it's really pleased that it's not as overpowering as it first uh, seems to be but uh, I will think some more on this see if we get any changes and I will come back to you thank you for watching speak to you later Hello again. So, shh, lodgers asleep. I'm just going to talk to you now how the fragrance went. So, uh, it's now nearly midnight. So, obviously, I sprayed it at about one o'clock today. So, um, that's ten hours, I think. Um, and as it changed in the afternoon after I spoke to you last, it's become 
more musky so I didn't really detect much musk but it's become more musky and vanilla really vanilla came out it's like a floral vanilla musk but very soft so I would say that projection is literally not it's, I mean obviously we're talking a long time now but projection is like pretty much skin scent now um, and has been for the last few hours I would say I'm trying to get wafts of it it is still there but it's definitely a skin scent and it is sort of like a nondescript floral vanilla musk that's all I can really say unfortunately it's a pass from me I'm not really that keen it's okay um, it doesn't offend me it's it's not uh, unpleasant to wear it's just not me um, it should be me but it's not because of that sort of lily like fragrance that I can detect in there um, and then I think the performance is obviously the longevity is there but the projection isn't that great um, uh, when I spoke to you sort of three hours after spraying the projection was still quite good but um, probably not long after that it did sink down to be very close to the skin so in terms of performance of the fragrance um, longevity is great projection is just mediocre and the actual smell is for me just okay I think if you really like um, heady florals and things like lily maybe tuberose then give it a whirl but for me I think I need more frangipani I like frangipani and um, jasmine as long as it's not too strong or too heady because I find jasmine can take over a fragrance um, I do like a little bit of ylang ylang again it can be very strong there is obviously ylang ylang in this but there there's something in there that's a little to my nose a little bit screechy or just a little bit off but that is just because I'm not a fan of probably the Osmanthus but I'm not quite sure so anyway um, I'm going to stop waffling on I'm going to go to bed good night everybody mwah, 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 mwah. that sounded like an evil laugh didn't it <laughs> um, good night